Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels. And if you are new to my channel, I hope that you stick around. I do a lot of Disney content and I love talking about Disney. And um, this is my first time filming officially in front of my Lunar New Year background. If you guys aren't familiar, I'm a big Lunar New Year person and Lunar New Year is something that the Chinese and the Koreans and the Japanese and you know all the Asian cultures basically celebrate um, every year. They celebrate the year of the Zodiac, the you know, the kind of like the, the horoscope calendar is what they go by. Um, this year is the year of the ox. And um, so the official celebration takes place on February 12th, but they start celebrating the the end of January to the beginning of February every year. So it is usually something that's celebrated in Disney. I do have some things on my wall that I got from past Disney um, festivals in California Adventure. I miss it dearly because that's not happening this year. But I love to celebrate even though it's not happening um, because I think it's a cool... Uh, celebration and this year I do plan on having a big Chinese feast with my family on Chinese New Year Day which is February 12th so something to look forward to. It's also a lot of red is like um the symbolism that they use with the design so it's kind of perfect for Valentine's Day too why not um but today's video is actually going to be my latest shop Disney haul. I meant to film part of it in December and then I just never got around to it so I actually have items that I ordered back in December that were um, received at my, my place and then I have some newer purchases that I got in store and also at the outlet. So this is going to be a bit of a longer haul. When did you not hear me say that these days? But this is a cumulative haul from my purchases in December um, and January. That's what you're going to be seeing today. And I will say that part of this that I ordered online, I did have a 20% off coupon. I don't know if that's something that's new that Disney is doing or not. Um, a friend of mine actually, Courtney, thanks again Courtney, gave me the heads up that her birthday was in December and she got this huge, um, all month long she had the chance, all I could hear is my daughter, but um, all month long from December 1st to December 31st she had the chance to make a purchase on Shop Disney and get 20% off. Um, I noticed at the end of December I was sent one as well and I was really shocked so I used her coupon that she sent me, thanks again Courtney, and then I used my own coupon to order again and get 20% off from Shop Disney because I, my birthday was January, beginning of January, so I also had until December 31st to make a purchase. So they didn't give me until January, they just gave me the month of December, which I thought was interesting. Maybe they're just doing all the birthdays at that time and saying you had all month long to get an additional savings. So that worked in my favor because I did buy some things I wouldn't have bought otherwise. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so my most recent purchase, I'm going to start with that, is actually in store, and I purchased this. I did show this in my last major haul from Disneyland, if you guys are like, what are you showing this for? Because I did purchase in Disneyland for $30. If you guys notice, the price tag on here says $23. So the price tag on Shop Disney and at Disney stores around the country is actually cheaper than what the price is in Disneyland. I thought that was interesting. And currently Shop Disney has lowered the price to $14 for the Lunar New Year plushes. So for $14, I repurchased this from Shop Disney because I actually had purchased it 30% off from Disneyland, but that still came out to $16. It was a $2 difference, guys, but still I was like, oh, I can save money, I will repurchase it because I'm crazy. So this is my newer plush that I got from the Disney store. Yay. I also showed in my most recent, or one of my most recent hauls that I got from um, Shop Disney. I had ordered these poster pins, and I actually saw this in my store again, so I ordered one more. I, I purchased one more um, just to see what I get. I am still interested in the Cinderella one and or the Snow White one, so if I got one of those, I'd be very excited. If I got a duplicate, I would not be excited. So I will have a pin unboxing soon, and this will be included in that just to see what I got. Um, and then they also had the brand new Up key. So I had to purchase this up key and it does say Disney Pixar up. It has um, the house with the balloons in the center. The uh, Disney D is actually all balloons and multicolor. So cute. And then at the far end is the Pixar symbol with the lamp. So I did like that this was a fun Disney key that came out specifically celebrating up. It is one of my favorite up um, Pixar movies actually. I don't talk about it as, as much as I talk about other things on my channel. But this is actually one of my favorite Pixar movies besides Monsters Inc. So I'm a really big up fan and I just thought the design this is actually really cute one of the my favorite keys that they've recently released so I had to purchase this this was $12.99 um, at the Disney store next I'll go to my, my newest shop Disney order and it's three pins and they were all $13.50 and $14.40 because I did get a discount of I think 10% off of these just the usual discount I will say I'm a little bummed my Lunar New Year pin that I ordered online arrived with the pin backer card dented in and dented it on the bottom. It's crushed. 
I don't like that. I don't like when I get a pin and it's already damaged before I get to use it. So I actually plan to return this. Luckily, I live near enough to a Disney park. I went to Disneyland and they had just gotten these in um, as of Tuesday, two days ago. And I did go and pick this up for myself there and it was in pristine condition. So I plan on returning this bent version to Shop Disney because I wasn't very happy that this arrived like this. I actually opened this before I went to that trip. So I was like, thank goodness I knew that. But it's a gorgeous pin. I'll show you guys a close up. It's got Mickey and Minnie riding on an ox for this year's um, version. And it does have Chip and Dale on there as well. Uh, Chip is actually holding up a, it looks like some, like a box or something. I can't really tell what that is, but it's red and it's got, um, letters on it that say something in Chinese or, or so. It does say happy new year. And it's this year's symbol where the new, just like on the backer card is in parentheses. So that, I guess that's the symbol for new, um, or something along those lines. Cause they have it in quotes and it is a limited release pin that came out this year. Mickey and Minnie have a little, uh, like cowl bell type of uh, hat as well just like the plush so that is the new theming they went with for the disney parks and i just think it's really cute and festive and i'm such a big litter new year person every year you guys hear me say that over and over again so i had to get this pin it was retail for 15.99 um the next thing i got is actually valentine's day related and this is the newest valentine's day pin release from shop disney it is 14.99 originally again i got it for 14.39 i think or 13.50 $13.50, excuse me. I got it for $13.50, um, 10% off, which is a Disney Visa. And it says, keep one, share one. And it's Mickey and Minnie are each half of a heart. I do plan on putting this on um, a pin board this month. I will have a Lunar New Year themed pin board. So it'll be mostly New Year related, but I have to include some Valentine's stuff as well. So this will be on it. It'll be Valentine's and Lunar New Year together for the month of February. Um, but Mickey and Minnie are each like holding out one half of the heart, which is really, really cute. And I love pins that are one half of each other, you know, two halves make it right. So I really like that and um, had to order that as well. Luckily, that one did not arrive damaged. And then my last pin arrived a little bent, but other than the bending, it didn't arrive damaged. It's funny because I always talk about this on my channel. Shop Disney has a favorite funny way of sending out pins in general. So they did not send this in a box for once, which is nice. They did send it in a bubble, bubble envelope but there wasn't any extra bubble wrapping around it. They were just tossed inside the envelope and obviously they were tossed on top of each other to the fact where they, to the point where they arrived bent and damaged. So still not happy with p ordering pins. Whenever I order pins from online, I'm always like, should I, should I do it? Because I'm afraid it's gonna arrive damaged. But this one is a 101 Dalmatians 60th anniversary pin. Very cute. They are around the piano. It says 101 Dalmatians and you've got a uh, Pongo and Perdita all covered in soot. Um, one of the pups or two of the pups are covered in soot and then you have one um, playing on the piano. I just think this is such a classic movie and I love the symbolism of this as well. A family around the piano that stays together enjoying music together. One of my favorite classic films. So I had to get this pin when I saw it online. So those are my three latest online purchases. You guys saw my in-person purchases. Now I'm going to go back to December. Back in December I ordered this. It's actually also in the parks right now. And it is a Cinderella flare pin set where you have Cinderella on the top and then you have Lady Tremaine and um, Lucifer. I don't have any Lucifer pins. I could have shown this in my Disney Cats collection, but it does have Lucifer um, in it as well. I think that's so funny. He's like one of the funniest cats because he is so devilish, but I do like the expression here. Lady Tremaine just looks very upset while she's laying in bed. And then, um, well, she's laying in bed in the backer card and that's not actually the pin, but she's just sitting down, sitting upright with the Lucifer and a pillow. And then Cinderella is just like looking all darling with the Cinderella um, symbol underneath her while she's in the carriage in her blue dress. So this is a beautiful two pin set as well. Original price on this. I'm not sure there's no price on the back, but I want to say this was around $15.99 as well. Um, something along those lines. And I think I got this for 12 and change because again, this is a 20% off purchase that I made online. Since I'm on my pen, my pin kick, I'll just finish out with the pins. The other pin that I received is in this, so they did put this in a uh, bubble wrap. Thank you, Disney, whoever shipped that out. This is my first time looking at it. It is the Rapunzel Disney Castle Collection. This is series five out of 10, which means that as of December, they had only gotten halfway through. They're still gonna continue the series into well into this year. I'm still looking forward to the Ariel one. But I just saw this online and thought was really pretty. It hadn't sold out yet, it's $30. So um, I do have a couple of the castle um, pins and this might be actually my favorite one. 
I have Mulan, I have Cinderella, and I have Frozen. I did not get uh, Series 4. What was Series 4? Now I'm blanking. But whatever Series 4 was, I don't have it. Um, but I did get Series 5. So I'm just missing one. I'm almost a completist, I guess. Um, but I'm not trying to complete the collection. I'm just collecting the ones that I care about. And this one I think is gorgeous. Rapunzel is one of the best colors. First of all, she's purple oriented, which is my favorite color. But this has pinks and purple. Her castle looks absolutely stunning. And I love, like the other castles, there are some 3D elements that pop up in the front of this castle. So it looks really, really nice. Um, and then if you guys are seeing that pretty well. And then when you open up the hinge, luckily mine has not arrived damaged. I know a lot of people have said that their pins have been arriving damaged. I have been one of the lucky ones that not a single one of my castle pins arrived damaged. Thank goodness, because I would be so upset. So luckily Shop Disney has been doing me right because I would be calling them and complaining. You know it. I would just be like, what is going on? Um, but this is beautiful. So the interior just shows like, oh my gosh, I love the spiraling staircase around the, the large um, inner pillar. So you see a lot of that detail. You see lights flooding in throughout the castle. That's a really nice de detail that they included because it's like flooded with light. You see a lot of orange and yellow and red and purple and just stunning, dazzling designs as you look into the interiors of each and every one of ro the rooms in Rapunzel's palace. So a very nice design. I am very much in love with this castle this particular castle one and I think it's gonna go gorgeous I don't really have that many I literally have like two or three Rapunzel pins but this one was just a keeper I could not pass this up so I'm very glad that I did order this I think it's beautiful you guys know it's something from December when I have one of these in my bag it's the ma magical gingerbread contest um, advertisement obviously it does not apply now <laughs> oh my goodness when did this expire this expires January 31st uh, I wish I had seen this in time I would have used this I had a free shipping code and completely forgot it was a Frozen 2 um, Create Magic Moments, and they gave me a code that would have given me free shipping. I literally spent money on those three pins that I just showed you, um, my recent sale, and I was like, I was so bummed to have to pay shipping for it, and I had a code here. So this expired now, so that sucks, but they did send me a free shipping code in my December orders too, so go figure, I just didn't notice it in time. Um, the other thing that I was received is this particular ornament. It wasn't a box, I took it out already. But it was one that I didn't have, and it's Magic Kingdom. I love these Starbucks tumbler cups. This is an ornament version, so they can go on your tree. And I saw this one online, and I just, I'm a big fan of Magic Kingdom in general. But the fact that it was purple um, um, stole, my, stole my attention. Purple and mint green. The one that was released here, we had a purple one, but it was pink on top. So there are two different ones, which is very nice. But this one has a lot of icons from Magic Kingdom. I can see Snow White's Cottage. Um, with the roller coaster right behind it, with the roller coaster ride sticking out, um, I can see the castle, I can see the carousel, I can see the tiki bird icon, I can see um, Dumbo flying in the sky, I see Peter Pan's tower from London, um, I can see a hippo representing the jungle cruise, um, all kinds of fun things. There's like a treasure thing with Mickey, uh, and then there's also what looks like, uh, oh, I guess it's Beauty and the Beast castle as well. So there's a lot going on on this particular ornament. And I love these Starbucks little tumblers, Starbucks symbols on the back. So pretty, so unique, such a fun design. So I had to go ahead and order this for myself as well. It will be on my Christmas tree next year. And then I have two final items. Um, one is in this box and I haven't opened it yet. I did show that in my Hong Kong box I ordered in November from um, Magical Pick Me Up. They actually sent me one of these boxes, and I didn't even know it was released in Hong Kong, too, but I had ordered one for myself, and this is it right here. It is the um, Mickey's Christmas Carol uh, Mystery Snow Globe series, and there were six different options. I do have one with uh, it's Scrooge McDuck, and there's one with Mickey dressed up in his little popper outfit. There's Minnie. There's one of, I think that's the Hitchhiking Goats. I'm not really sure, but it's, that's not in... Mickey's Christmas Carol. It's like a ghost version of Pluto or whatnot. So um, there are two mystery ones. One of the mystery ones I found out was Daisy because that's the one that I got in my previous box. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this right now. Um, this was $10, by the way, in the U.S. So $10 is what our price was to order this box. And when I ordered it, I paid $10 because that's what my receipt says. So it's good to know that I did not get a discount. <laughs> um, but what's cool is that this year they did have this... Uh, 
this plastic thing to keep it nice and neat. I did like that a lot. And let's see which one I have received. Hopefully not another Tasty. But the other one that I received was from Hong Kong. This one is from the U.S. Okay, so it's not Daisy, but it goes along with that. It's actually the Scrooge McDuck with a uh, little popperish Mickey Mouse. So I have two characters. Scrooge is holding a big sack over his um, shoulders. It's been a while since I've seen this. I have to watch Mickey's Christmas Carol again to like get the context of this. But I love the traditional um, aspect of it. And when you shake it, there is a little bit of glitter that flies about. And this is a close-up of this little darling um, Christmas Carol snow globe. So another fun little icon. I did just put all my Christmas stuff away like last weekend. And now I have two extra items that I'm gonna have to like put in the back of my closet and keep it out all year long because where else am I gonna put it for now? <laughs> but I love this, so cute and tiny, but little, literally a lot of fun. And you know, you can't go wrong with these little like icon things. So lots of fun. Glad to finally open up my Christmas Carol um, the ornament snow globe that I ordered and then my last thing that I ordered from that particular December box is in this box and it's an ornament so that's nice so they put it in a box uh so there is nothing else protecting this this should have been bubble wrap but let's see this is an ornament that I also ordered and it's gorgeous originally $27 this is from Walt Disney World I didn't pay $27 I'm pretty sure this was on sale which is why I bought it but it says Walt Disney World in the background, happy holidays. And it's got Mickey and Minnie in their Santa outfits and a bunch of beautiful glistening glittery presents. I do have the Disneyland version of this particular ornament. So I thought it'd be fun to get the Walt Disney World one. You guys can see right there what it looks like. So, so pretty, so much glitter. And then on the back, you can see the signage a little bit better there as well. So really nice and really glad that I have this to add to my Christmas collection as well. <laughs> I just love all my ornaments. And that is everything that I ordered right now for Shop Disney. I already showed you guys my Walt Disney World sweater that I've been wearing nonstop since I ordered that in my Magic Mail video. So I had the that sweater and I had also gotten um, the two mystery um, poster pins in that box and then one more thing I forget. But that was in my Magic Mail video if you guys wanna go back to see that. My last Magic Mail video that I did included Shop Disney with everything else. It was like a lot of Lunar New Year stuff in that video too. but. So I've been enjoying, been enjoying my online purchases, and now I'm gonna show you what I picked up in store. <laughs> it gets better. I just realized one of these is actually is another Disney store bag that I picked up, I believe at the beginning of January, I went around my birthday, and I wanted a shopping spree. Um, and I saw a bunch of like Christmas things that had been discounted, heavily discounted. So um, some Disney stores still have a, like a small slithering of Christmas items left, and they are marked down. So whatever the ticket, um, Whatever the, the price in red says, that is what the new price will be. They had a lot of Christmas stuff that they had on sale. And this is one of the items. This is the slipper socks with Mickey and Minnie. Is it Mickey and Minnie? Yeah. So you've got Mickey with the Santa hat and then Minnie with her bow with the peppermint candy. So cute. And I did grab these because this fits my foot size. <laughs> but these are fuzzy slippers in the back. It does say happy holidays. So cute. So adorable. And they were on sale for... $10 down from 25 so I said okay I will buy me some slipper socks um the next item that I was able to grab at a huge discount is this salt and pepper shaker it is the um Mickey and Minnie on a train salt and pepper set and these were discounted down to $10 originally $35 in the park so $35 for this particular item and it includes a train caddy. So cute. 10 bucks. I was like, yes, I will grab that. And this was the order that I think I used my 20% off on, by the way. I grabbed this kitchen towel set, which was discounted from 25 or so, 22 to $9. And it is, has the gingerbread Mickey on the very front. And it says, baking spirits bright. I do have the matching apron with this design. So cute. And then this one has the all over print that they also came with this rag as this as well. So two kitchen towels in this particular set. This is the Disney store um, towel set. However, there was a Disney parks version. So this was the one that was released in the Disney stores, but so adorable. And it has these little like red pom poms on the bottom too. The next item in here is a t-shirt that I did grab from the Disney store. It says Joy Disneyland Resort. They had it on display and I thought it was adorable. So I had to go ahead and grab this particular shirt as well but it says joy so pretty this deep red 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 design and i thought that was adorable too so a nice christmas shirt and the next thing in here is a mug and i had actually seen this 
on a Hong Kong Disney site. I don't remember seeing this in the Disney store myself, but it was discounted, maybe. I don't remember the discount, but yeah, it's not on here. But it was $20 originally, and I know I did not spend $20 on it. So it was in the discount mug section, and I decided to go ahead and grab it because it is a cute little Pluto mug, Fair Girl Pluto. And I actually did get a really fun and festive Christmas present for um, this year. My husband gave me a Mickey Mouse shaped mug rack. So I'll finally have a place to display all my Disney mugs. It's like sitting in the bathroom and master bath because um, we're waiting to get a console that matches so that we can have all our stuff decorated. So before we get the console, we're not putting up the mug rack. So it's literally just sitting out, but soon I'll be able to display my Disney mugs very soon. And I cannot wait to do that. And I thought this would be kind of a fun one because if you guys saw my mug, my Disney mugs video, I'll put it up above, um, that I did last year. I showed all the cool mugs that I have, and I have a lot of cool mugs, but I realized I didn't really have ones that were, like, designed like a character shape, and I really wanted that. It was missing in my mug collection. I thought, crazy. So I was like, let me get the Pluto one. He's so adorable and cute and nice and heavy. So I would love to drink out of Pluto's head later on. <laughs> the last things in here, it looks like I grabbed... Um, one of the ornament ears, ear ornaments that I didn't already have, and it's the rose gold one. So I did grab that one to um, add. It was $8 to add to my collection because I didn't already have that. I also grabbed this key. It is the family that stays together key that was released last year. I just thought it was really pretty with the blue and Mickey Mouse design. So I do grab keys um, still when they speak to me, and I love the sparkly castle on this one as well. So hopefully that's coming out, but a fun key. I love the little back card that has the two um, kids hugging. Adorable. Hey guys. Okay, so I just filmed something and then I realized that I ran out of battery um, or storage space. Excuse me. I realized I ran out of storage space, so I was unable to save the footage that I just thought I was filming, which is unfortunate because I showed the last three items that I had and then did an unboxing of something. I'm going to show you the last three items um, and then get into the next item that I just unboxed, which I'm Unfortunately, I can't undo with a mystery item. They had these new things. I had never seen them, but they're like mystery teacup cuties. They all retail for $6 each, $5.99, so it's pretty inexpensive. This is similar to something you might see at Target or something like that, like the mystery figurines. But literally, all you know is that it is a teacup to start with, so something fun and festive if you like little tea setting, like Alice in Wonderland themed. And there are different princesses that this teacup can turn into. You're not really sure what it is, except that the base kind of gives you some idea. So you would look for this and say, this one has purple, so maybe this one is Ariel. I don't know. This one could also possibly be, let's say, Tiana or something. But because it has purple, I'm assuming this one is Ariel. I don't know. Um, this one has a little bit of pink and gold. And that one could possibly be a couple different options. It could basically be Mulan. It could be Belle or it could be Cinderella. This is a dark pink and the picture looks light pink, but in my store they only had the dark pink, so I wasn't sure. So I have two mystery figurines and we'll figure out what it is. To give you some context, I have another one and it's right here. This one started out as a yellow um, base with flowers and because of that we weren't really sure what this was going to be, but I thought it might be Rapunzel. It actually says Rapunzel is rare here next to that, so that's interesting. Um, and it was a gold... Uh, goldish base but honestly I wasn't expecting it to be Rapunzel it ended up being Rapunzel so it's pretty cool it just turns into it, it goes from cup like this is the teacup in that form and when you flip it over it turns into the doll so I am gonna let my daughter open up the last two just think it'd be fun for her to do that but so cute that I got a Rapunzel one and I love that it's like her dress it's pretty nice quality because this is like a rubber bottom so it's pretty sturdy enough to stand up. This is actually better than the ones you get at Target um, for $5. And again, this was a $6 item. But if you have a Disney Visa, it turns out to be $5 anyway with a discount. So pretty cool. And the last thing that I picked up, I never thought I would be able to own this. But I went into my store and they had tons of these behind the counter back in early January. So of course, I had to bite. And this is the new Funko Pop that was like all the sensation with Walt himself holding a little Mickey Mouse plush. And then you can see that he is next to Sleeping Beauty Castle. This will definitely be in the background of my videos to come. Um, this is a display piece for sure. Such a gorgeous um, two-piece set. I'm really glad I got this. I can't believe that my store had this. I try not to shell out for Funkos too often, but this is one that I was just like, I had to. So I'm very excited to finally own this. Really cute and adorable. That's what the picture in the box looks like in the back. And again, my Disney store just happened to have them in stock 
at the beginning of January. I came in at the right time. They had plenty of boxes behind the counter and I said, yes, I'd like to buy that. And this is what allowed me to go over that $60 mark and save 20% on everything, including this, because this retailed for $40. So got this for 20% off, which is pretty awesome. I did show in my disastrous Wishables haul that I had gotten these Aladdin Wishables and every single one of them was the Aladdin plush. So I did not have luck. I opened three previously. However, when I went to the Disney store in person, they also had these bags. And I said, you know what? What the hey, let me pick it up. So I opened it up and I was like, I hope for either Jasmine or the carpet because those are the ones that I wanted the most. I did not want the, the magic lamp. Lo and behold, I got lucky and I got the carpet. So that's pretty cool. So on this side, um, it's actually just like the regular carpet. I do have the poster version of this as well and a blanket version. So it looks just like this, but it's a nice design. And then um, the actual tassels are basically just like pieces of foam, like felt foam maybe. And it's very squishy and cushiony. And then on the other side, you have the actual wishable part with the eyes, with the stars in the center. And it just looks very cute and adorable. So I'm very grateful to have this added to my collection to go along with Aladdin. But then I revealed that when I went to Disney, um, the Disney parks, I grabbed another bag there and I couldn't resist. Um, I actually grabbed another bag from a different part of the Disney parks in Disneyland. I had previously gotten my bags from um, Buena Vista. This time I had gotten from World of Disney hoping that a different store would mean different stock. However, this is what I pulled. So you guys can see, I now have my fourth Aladdin. I am done with this particular Wishable series since I have so many Aladdins. I will offer him up in the future in some kind of sale or whatnot, but yeah, Aladdin galore. Thank goodness for my Disney store for having this. And my PSA to you guys is if you're in the Disneyland area considering buying the Wishable bags, unless you want Aladdin, don't bother. <laughs> because that seems to be all they have. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. I showed you guys a lot of stuff. I told you it's going to be a mega haul. I hope that you guys have sat back and relaxed and watched all the fun goodies I was able to accumulate over the past two months. Lots of great deals as always can be had at the Disney store if you shop early in the month in January um, because there's always those post-Christmas deals and I definitely um, took advantage of that again this year and I appreciated that. I was given those 20% discounts and then also the birthday discount for 20% off like who would have thunk it? That was cool and awesome. Thank you, Disney, for that. And yeah, let me know if you also went and splurged this and got crazy this past couple of months. And if you're also on a break because of it, like I am. Talk soon. Bye.